Well, Anna Maria Island, one step closer to getting turtle friendly lighting along the beach. As the Dow's Jake Peterson reports, this comes after hundreds of turtles already died. And hatchling tracks. Each morning, Turtle Watch coordinator Susie Fox looks for turtle tracks in the sand. This morning wasn't a good one. The hatchlings did not go to the water. They went back to the north. The culprit, she believes, are white street lights on Gulf Drive. The minute the artificial light comes on, it draws their eyes away from the sea and they go toward the road. The baby turtles get disoriented and don't know which way to go. The result? Volunteers could be in tears. The public is picking up, helping them pick up dead turtles out of the road. Anna Maria Island Turtle Watch is hoping to make some big changes here by the end of the year. Turtle Watch volunteers already went to condos located across the street from the beach like this one here and they put amber colored lights in the fixtures. Now they want beach cities to change their street lights from white to amber. It's a safety issue. Bradenton Beach Mayor John Chappie says he's behind changing the street lights, but he's hoping to hear from FPNL first. We need to get uh, a turtle light that actually works and that will give the illumination so that our pedestrians are safe. The power company could give the OK by the end of the year. Then the night won't be as bright. We've always tried to be turtle friendly here in Bradenton Beach. Reporting on Anna Marie Island, I'm Jake Peterson for the Now.